question for you. Would you like to have a mug of coffee or a cup of coffee? Have you brought a mushroom or a toadstool from the forest? Did you have a macaron or a macaroon with lunch yesterday? Oh, here's another. Would you rather have that mug of coffee or have to take a mug shot? <laughs> You've probably guessed that I'm going to talk about certain words that make thousands of people confused and annoyed. And no wonder. Sometimes just a vowel can entirely change the meaning of the whole word. So let's figure out whether you dance samba or sambo. Number 1. Emojis versus emoticons Did you get the emoji I just sent you? Oh wait, maybe it was an emoticon. Mm. Hm. Easy peasy. Emojis are real pictures. They can be faces, animals, and literally anything from broccoli to a thunderstorm. And emoticons are faces you create by typing different characters on your keyboard. Number 2. Shrimps versus prawns. These two critters have always been the cause of endless confusion. Some people claim that shrimp are a blown-up version of the prawn. Others are sure that prawn is what British people call American shrimp. But in fact, prawns are way bigger and have more claws than shrimp. Number 3. Silicon versus silicone. What distinguishes these words is just one letter, but this letter makes a world of difference. Solid and brittle, silicon is a chemical element with a pretty blue-gray metallic shine. And silicone is a substance where silicon atoms are mixed with oxygen, hydrogen, carbon, and whatnot. Silicone is typically either rubber-like or liquid, and it's used in many different spheres. Number 4. Cement versus Concrete Concrete is a strong building material that's made up of gravel, sand, and crushed stones. All these components are held together by a paste which consists of water and, surprise surprise, special dry powder, also known as cement. And while no concrete can exist without cement, these two things are just not the same. Number 5. Mugs versus Cups Mugs are thicker, bigger, and made to cradle in your hands while you're sitting on the windowsill and looking out at the rain. <laughs> Sorry. As for cups, they're usually smaller and daintier. People are supposed to drink coffee and hot chocolate from mugs and tea from cups. But honestly, it doesn't really matter much these days. Number 6. Pills versus Tablets The pill is more a general term for medicines presented in small round shapes. As for the tablet, it's powdered herbs or chemicals that are pressed together to create a flat, solid shape. Tablets are mostly round, although if you try, you may find lots of unusual forms, let's say, a triangle. Number 7. Sambo versus Samba Sambo is a kind of modern martial art that appeared in the former Soviet Union. The name stands for self-defense without weapons. And if you want to move your body, you can dance Samba, which is a fast, vibrant dance from Brazil. Number 8. Venomous versus poisonous. Just remember two things. If some dangerous substance is forced into your bloodstream, it's venom. That's why we call snakes venomous. And to get poisoned, the person has to eat, inhale, or contact something poisonous. For example, a mushroom, a berry, or a chemical. Or that red apple from the Wicked Witch. Number 9. Jealousy versus Envy. All these two emotions have caused countless conflicts and broken zillions of relationships, and still, some people mistake one for the other. Jealousy is when you have an ice cream and are afraid that someone will take it from you. As for envy, you feel it when another person is enjoying their ice cream on a hot day, but there's no cold treat for you. <laughs> Number 10. Stalactites versus Stalagmites You'll be able to tell these long, pointed pieces of rock apart at first sight if you remember this. Stalagmites grow upward from the floor of a cave. And stalactites grow downward from the ceiling of a cave. Or remember it like this. It takes might to pull a stalagmite up from the floor. And you better hold tight to a stalactite, else you might fall down. Once again, stalagmites up, stalactites down. Get it? Got it good. Number 11. Jam versus Jelly 
This issue bothers millions of people all over the world. What did I have for breakfast? Jam or jelly? Well, look at the sweet stuff in front of you. Can you see pieces of fruit and berries inside? Then it's jam. Jelly only contains juice, and it's also more translucent. Remember that, and you'll get out of this jam every time. Number 12. Macarons versus Macaroons People have been arguing about the correct spelling of these two desserts and their meaning for ages. But here's the most widely accepted explanation. A macaron is a kind of cookie made from egg whites, sugar, and almond powder. It's also French, very pretty, and totally Instagrammable. And macaroons come from Italy. They're small cookies made from ground almonds, coconuts, and other nuts. They're white on the inside, but toasted to look beautifully golden. Man, no problem, I'll eat them both. 13. Boats versus ships The difference between these two kinds of nautical transport is pretty apparent, right? And still, some people manage to mix these terms and captains get awfully offended. So, let's clarify. Ships are big vessels, weighing more than 500 tons and sturdy enough to sail the oceans. At the same time, boats are way more compact and breakable. That's why they typically stick closer to the shore or sail across smaller bodies of water. Another way to tell the difference? You can put a boat on a ship, but not the other way around. Otherwise, you'll crush it. Number 14. America versus the US People may misunderstand if you announce that you're setting off on a journey to America. So don't be surprised if they begin to ask for clarifications. The thing is that the name America means the continents of North and South America combined. But if you're planning to see the Grand Canyon and the lights of Las Vegas, tell your friends that you're going to the United States of America or the USA. 15. Great Britain versus the UK You'll be able to distinguish Great Britain from the UK with ease if you remember just one thing. Great Britain is one island, but the United Kingdom also includes the northeastern part of Ireland as well as numerous small islands. 16. Mushrooms versus toadstools Um, you've brought quite a lot of toadstools from your mushroom hunting trip. Don't get your hopes up, that's not a compliment. It's true that by saying mushrooms, people usually refer to an edible type of fungi. It means you can munch on it without any risk of getting ill. Toadstools are a different story. They are poisonous, and some of these fungi are quite dangerous. So only eat these for your last meal. 17. Huskies versus Malamutes While these two breeds get constantly mistaken for each other, a husky and a malamute are two very different dogs that come from different parts of the world. Huskies are pooches from Siberia, where they were specifically bred to be fast. They're sleek, kind, and hardworking, and often have two different colored eyes. As for malamutes, they're Alaskan dogs, just as lovely as huskies, but a bit slower and more massive. Number 18. Alpacas versus llamas Come on! Both of these cuties have fluffy faces, long necks, and four legs. How on earth am I supposed to tell them apart? It turns out there is a way. First of all, look at the animal's ears. If they're long and banana-shaped, that's a llama. Alpacas have shorter, spear-shaped ears. Also, alpacas' faces are blunter, and it gives them a slightly smooshed-in look. These animals are also smaller than llamas. While the average alpaca weighs about 150 pounds, an adult llama can be as heavy as 400 pounds. And if you confuse the two in front of the llama, he might spit in your face. Happened to me once. 19. Crocodiles versus alligators Imagine that one day you meet one of these, let's admit it, quite terrifying creatures and freeze in confusion. Is it a crocodile or an alligator? First of all, take a look at the animal's snout. Alligator snouts are wider and have an apparent U-shape, and crocodile's front part is V-shaped and pointed. Also, if an alligator's mouth is closed, you'll never see its teeth. As for crocodiles, no matter if they keep their mouths shut or not, one tooth on each side of their lower jaw will stick out anyway. But the most significant difference 
is that crocodiles' home base is saltwater reserves, and alligators hang out in freshwater lakes and marshes. Frankly, I wouldn't even take the time to figure it out, I'd just run and sort it out later. 20. Sphinx versus Sphinx You can see the most famous sphinx in the world in Egypt, on the west bank of the Nile River. It's a mythical creature with the head of a human and the body of a lion. Sphinx, in turn, has nothing to do with mysteries, legends, and mixed body parts. It's a breed of hairless cats, velvety and hot to the touch, that appeared in Ontario, Canada in 1966. By the way, yes, that was a tongue twister. You try saying famous sphinx a few times. But later, I'm not done yet. 21. Crows versus Ravens Well, I'm pretty sure that one of these species safeguards the Tower of London. But if you showed me a picture of a bird and asked if it was a crow or a raven, I wouldn't be able to tell one from the other. So here's the tutorial. Crows are smaller with thinner and longer beaks. If you hear shrill cawing that grates on your ears, that's a crow. Scientists also claim that the average crow is as smart as a 7-year-old child. As for ravens, they're way larger than crows, with longer tails and thicker bills. They often travel in pairs and communicate through low, croaking sounds. Finally, here's a bonus! Oreo versus Oreo. One is a famous yummy cookie, and the other is from The Wizard of Oz. It's the song the Wicked Witch's guards are singing as they march around her castle. Don't believe me? Check it out! Alright, how about you? Do you know any other things people often confuse? Let me know down in the comments! If you learned something new today, then give this video a like and share it with a friend. But hey, don't go off eating crow just yet! We have over 2,000 cool videos for you to check out! All you have to do is pick the left or right video, click on it, and enjoy! Stay on the bright side of life!